Hi Virgo, welcome to your June 2017 general tarot forecast. It's Rena here. All right, as the train chugs along, let me continue here. I, I was going to say <laughs> before I laid out these cards that this being a general forecast, this could have any theme, but I was going to add that sometimes based upon what it is that the theme of the cards, it could really point to one thing over the other. And it's so funny because a lot of times it tends to be relationship um, oriented and I already have put out those love readings they're on my channel if you're interested but I'm trying to just do a general focus and maybe talk about money and career and things like that but it always seems to come back to that okay so I'm just going to you know apply different interpretations to it so that I don't just always focus about love matters but I did get this as the overall theme the two of swords. So this could be about having to make a decision, maybe about two people, whether or not to get divorced, because we have the justice card right up there. And with the past being the three of cups, you may be with somebody who has a drinking problem. They may have a woman problem too, because there's a, there's several women here. Um, the person could be a sword individual in the air sign, Gemini, that's a usual suspect for Virgos, and a, um, what are the other ones, Libra, Aquarius. This person, there may be three parties involved, and hence the number three, but you're deciding whether or not to get divorced. This doesn't, you know, I, I don't want to just say that this has to be a woman with a man because we do have in the higher perspective, the king of pentacles. So if you're a man and you're watching this and this resonates with you so far, you may be saying that you don't want, you may be thinking that you don't want to have to give away your money for your business in a divorce situation. So that may be one of the reasons why you're hesitating to get divorced. Now, the other possibility is that there's a Libra person because the justice card connects to Libra. Okay. I just wanted to put that out there. But also, if this is related to career, you may be choosing between uh, you know, it is possible, the legal profession. Maybe you were working with other people. The Three of Cups is a very social, sociable kind of a setting. But it could be that you, you know, some people, if, if there's any job that you're doing, you may ha have aspirations to work in, the, it could even be the criminal justice system. It doesn't have to be as a lawyer. It could be like some kind of a prison guard or something like that. But regardless, you may have a circle of friends that is also your, in your workplace that you don't want to leave. And so you may have trained to do something in the legal field, but you are clinging to this workplace. And you feel the sense of chemistry and bonding, emotional bonding with these people, and you don't want to leave it. With the higher message being the king of pentacles, this could be a situation where there's a boss involved. 
and that could be the person that uh, unless you're the one that's <laughs> cheating or, or what have you and that may affect your bottom line that may affect your ability to earn a living if you were to alter your relationship with this person in terms of just career matters um, this this card could indicate also that for some of you maybe none of the above is the way that you want to go maybe you want to own your own business and you are working for other people it's funny because uh, Virgo is definitely like that you know Virgo is very efficient and is like the heart and soul of an office in terms of maybe being the manager and keeping everything together so it's not it's totally within character for Virgo people to work for other people because Virgo is a sign of the servant so Virgos don't have that ego like some other signs do where they're like, I'm not going to take orders from somebody. Virgo is very compliant in that area. Now, of course, you want to get paid well, like anybody with um, half a brain would want to do. But you may have a situation where that doesn't happen because you are so unassuming and uh, you may not stick up for yourself assert yourself when you should but also there could be a situation where perhaps you don't you you undersell yourself where you don't think that you could do something even though it's a dream of yours so I'm just putting it out there because I want to validate any of you that have had that kind of a dream but have kind of brushed it off as being a fantasy that can't be a reality what crosses you is the three of pentacles this is a card of building something that has lasting value the architects card so in this is definitely a card associated with business but again it could be a three I was gonna say a threesome but I meant uh, a love a lover's triangle and in the challenge position that is just further indication that it may be really negatively impacting you whether you're the one doing the cheating or whether or not the other your, your partner is it's wearing at you if this is business related this is about not being able to get something going um, again this could be something with friends you may have been getting into a you know you and a bunch of friends may have gotten together and said hey let's start a business but something keeps standing in your way well this is just timing and as I record this this is May on June 9th there's going to be Jupiter going direct in Libra Libra is your second house of earned income so just watch Virgo as the month progresses and see if things start to really after the ninth see if things really start to kind of flow for you better and that may be a time when this card goes more upright which is a very positive card for building something that has lasting value and that can be quite profitable being Pentacles it's the earth element just like you and all of the matters of the earth what is coming in is the represented by the world card this is your the end of a cycle for you now in August it will be the Sun in your 12th house starting in late July actually and that can be up until your solar return which happens at the end of August that's a time that is a natural ending of a cycle but this could be something else as well remember that last September you had a solar eclipse and so the following months may have been more than one new beginning that has occurred for you but this could be 
an ending of sorts. Now this could be, if this is a marriage, that could be that. And it's saying that that's end of the cycle. It's not, you know, it's no big deal. Things happen and there's a natural rhythm to life. There's a season. Some relationships are for a season and not necessarily for a whole lifetime. And not resisting change helps you to handle it better. And you're pretty good about that. You're a mutable sign. You can roll with the punches, but you still may. I mean, what if you were married for 20 or 30 years? That's got to be a very, uh, you know, difficult transition, but it's not impossible. It just is going to be a new phase in your life and it's going to have an adjustment or need an adjustment. And the outcome is the Six of Cups. That's that Soulmates card. Been picking this up again after a bit of a lull. So perhaps that decision that you were making was based on a person, maybe from your past. Maybe somebody that you met in the grocery store three weeks ago who you instantaneously felt this sense that you had known them for thousands of years. I don't know what this person is to you. For some people, it's finding your dharma, finding what you're here to do. And, and sometimes that can mean that you make a lot of money because you're aligned with your purpose. And in some cases, this is simply you feeling like a king and you may live very, uh, very simply. That's, that's what the minimalist movement is all about. At which they used to call, what do they used to call that? Voluntary simplicity. And that is right up Virgo's alley. Just like I have a moon in Virgo. So I, I totally get that and I love that. And you do too. Whatever that means to you, whether it means that you're very affluent or whether it means that you feel like a king and yet you don't necessarily make more than you used to, but you have all this extra time to do what you want to do. You don't feel like you're a hamster on a wheel. There are all ways to feel prosperous, like the king. And the six of cups is a card of living an idyllic life. And this is why it's associated with childhood, because it's associated with a time that's very simple and where it's like timeless. There were no <laughs> deadlines except coming home when the, when the street lights went on. So that's kind of the, the, those kinds of dreams of the past can not haunt you, but inspire you during the month of June. So I hope you enjoyed this, Virgo. And if you'd like a private reading, um, please click on the link below. Getting drowned out by the trains. Otherwise, have a magical June. Bye.